pour out your wealth, it's about time for you to raise up. My mom's a wife is later now? Hey, baby! Stop happening to me. Fuck an hour to fuck my wife in my old bed. Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the frick in my bed. <sighs> Bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him. Okay, homie? What happened? The guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. The tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You risk dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. Throw some more hip, you stupid hippie fuck! Hey, fuck, man, I think we lost his head. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Okay, this is the turn. Hey! You know, one of these fucking houses? Yeah, hey, keep your eye out. That's his car, right there. Little prick's up there, look. Oh, shit! Coach doing all right for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fuck! You got the wrong idea, man! Banging married women's a hobby, not a fucking profession! There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand on your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, 
take my money and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh. How fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey, wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Toad, you are properly crazy! <laughs> oh shit! He's sorry now, we wasn't already! Man, get some force on that motherfucker! Man, homie ain't drumming outside tonight, dawg! Boom! Give it some! Oh! Fuck! <laughs> His ass. Yeah, fuck him. But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. <laughs> now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Mr. DeSanta, what? The hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone! You! Yes, dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. <laughs> Shit, we got some heavies on us, homie. Oh, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll try, man. Try. We can handle this, right? Screw him. Hey, let's go. Let's leave him behind. How much di distance we got between us? Push the pedal, man. We gotta move. Can you see them? Are they still back there? We got a book, man. Go. All right, we managed to lose them. Hey, let's go. Let's leave them behind. If these are Mark Madrasso's boy, there's a lot more where they came from. Ice that motherfucker! Push the pedal, man. We gotta move. Pop that dude! We got a book, man. Go! How much distance we got between us? You gotta use that gun? Hey, let's go. Let's leave him behind. the pedal, man. We gotta move. I got one. I think you slipped him, man. Okay. We go back to my house and think about this. Wow. Shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get the fence. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. What the? Got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't pumped like that in years. Oh, yes. Fucking A, Bubba. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? 
No. Who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No. Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon.
it to me. How dare you point that thing at me? Stop with the emotions. You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being the... Dude, do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up our sleeves, huh? <laughs> I'm just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. I you still suck love you, Tony. Hold on to yourself. You're in over your head and you're up here. Damn. Jimmy! God damn it. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks, play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine. Fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Uh, okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Uh! You know, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. They fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well... I had to, to protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Last time we talked, I ended up hyperventilating in a pump and run, telling a tranny weightlifter my life story. Hey, punk ass, keep on moving. Hey, you, two bikes. Take your pick. Yo, thanks. If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV. <sighs> Into the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're going to behave like a human being. Give it up, Dad. You've got to see it. In this kind of condition, a triathlon would kill you. <sighs> Lie down, old man. You're a sore loser! I'd never bike with the man who murked my flat screen! 
If you bike a few more miles, we might be able to squeeze you into some skinny jeans. Don't die. Don't give him the pleasure. Come on, Jim. Keep pushing. I'm not going to be able to stop this thing. All that smack talk ain't going to put me off my stride. My body isn't meant to work like this, but I'm making it to beat you. Hey, don't they have fitness video games you can play now? You ain't gonna slingshot me. I'm being hypnotized by your wings flapping. There's a prize waiting for you at the end of the pier, Pops. It's not the winning, James. It's the taking part that counts. <laughs> When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over! If I have a heart attack, it's your fault! Now, let me think. What am I gonna do with all that spare TV money? All the way to the end. Come on, old man. You'll die first, old man. Right after you buy the TV. Get lost, you creepy old man. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry, it's you. If you like the beach so much, bury yourself out here! The boardwalk ain't big enough for the both of us! I mean, like, literally it isn't! We're both kind of big! Into the pier! Here we come! You do realize I'm just letting you wear yourself out, right? Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Whoa! Hey! Wait! Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, cool, Daddy. man. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, man! I like that! Problem! You're such Bastard. a jerk! 
Come on! Dad, you dumbass, these guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I. Who's causing the scene of my fucking boat? Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Just calm down. I did what I had to do. Let me take you back to your brother. I'm an accessory to murder! No, you're not. You're an accessory to self-defense. Have I, like, gotten to be a witness because I... I, like, did some blow? You did blow? Yeah, I did some blow, and that might, like, make my testimony inadmissible. You're not admissing anything. There won't be a trial unless you're on a trial for doing blow. You! You fucking asshole! Listen, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Baby, I'm gonna drink your bath water. Hey, Terry. Hey there. Can't wait to meet up later. Hi, I'll man. remember. Hey, boo. Yeah, brother. Hey, good luck. Hey, remember me? It is what it is, you know. Yeah, man. Fuck well, you. I spent like a whole hour stuck on it. That is my favorite show. You just gotta sit back and fire it up, brother. Oh, damn. That's a disappointment. Well, what about one of them shows on me, TV? Mm-mm. I ain't fly way out here to stay in a no long ass line. Hey, you my dude, right?
Message for me, get off your fat ass. I see this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Uh, easy. I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on a run. Yeah, well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay. Hey, I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! Huh. Whoa! Okay, ma'am boobs, race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. Yeah, if your uncle was the same age as you, you mean? Although that would explain a lot. Fuck you! Why are you so angry? I'm not angry, I'm exercising! How's that prostate holding up? Don't touch me! You and my wife should hang out! Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. Drop dead! Justin! Oh, fuck, man, cool it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go. Lap push. Come on, flick the switch, Marianne. Let's go lactic. I thought I had issues, but you? You give me hope. I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit. Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy. You can run around them, you know. Oh! Huh. Not too shabby, huh? You can have that one on me. I never got out of second gear. I already did a 10K today. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me. Screw you! You're lucky I'm tapering for a try! This is why I don't respect Raw Rule. What's up, homie? It's the best place for him anyway. Ha! <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dawg.
couldn't stay away. only talk to the kids when I'm drunk. I don't think. I mean, it gets kind of fuzzy. Just leave us all alone, Michael. Please. <sighs> alone. Yeah, there's a happy place. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester. About what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little... College boy, sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here. Take this, uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. 
I'll find something. Just like the old days. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I 
I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. And we scan. Scanning. My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. <laughs> And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Send me the thing. Dude, it's a good thing we got rid of that morality clause. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye now. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! Let me get the door for you. You'll never guess what Bill said. I'm cool! Okay, well... What the fuck? Cool! You entitled piece of shit! Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and def... <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Ow. No! I'm watching Fame or Shame! Cut your fucking tits! Give it up! You guys are going to the final. Minds on fire. Woo! What a talent! I have never seen someone that. Ladies and gentlemen, someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Ah! Security! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa!